Sometimes we need water to even cook our food, don't we? A multidisciplinary lesson might sound complicated, but in Natalie Grimmett's second grade class, it is an everyday approach. And not everywhere on our earth has clean water. village now has far fewer cases of waterborne illnesses. They're reading A Long Walk to Water, and the story has opened their eyes to a very big problem for children just about their age. They have to walk all day, all day, to, to just get dirty drinking water, and, they, and I think that's not fair. It certainly isn't, which is why this second grade class joined forces with a group of seventh graders to do something about it. We're all doing walk to water for um, raising money in South Sudan because they don't have fresh water to drink. Interesting. And how did you do that? Um, so we raised money to walk around the quad like 20 times, which was not even half of what Naya did. We walked around the, around the field right over there 20 times. So we had like... Um, a bottle of water and it was really heavy. They were raising money along the way, so they got really, really engaged and really invested in this project. The funds go to Water for South Sudan, part of the Iron Giraffe Challenge, where children and students around the world raise funds to help build wells in South Sudan. They've done all kinds of fundraising activities, learning a bit of geography, environmental science, history, and of course, a bit of fundraising. She poured out a little bit more. They've also developed an understanding that something we take for granted every day isn't so exciting accessible for everyone. It was really interesting. When we started this all, they kind of didn't really have an idea that water wasn't always available. They leave the water running when they brush their teeth. They take long showers, all the things that we all kind of take advantage of. And it's interesting because now, even whenever someone dumps out their water out of their water bottle, you'll hear other kids commenting on it. That's fresh water. You need to drink it. We shouldn't waste it. <laughs> so they're starting to really take ownership of that and working on keeping each other accountable as well and sharing their information. Dirty water can make you sick and then it's not really good for you either. That out of the 100% of people in the world, that 7 billion don't have clean drinking water. Akir, look! The students have new insights they now and so more empathy. Amazing. You guys did such really good things. Which is why this is the Cayman First Classroom of the Month. If they can start with something like this that seems kind of easy and simple and just an understanding, and we can build on it from now, working our way up, then we're taking these children and allowing them to make positive, actionable choices whenever they get older.